Okay. I used to be good at this. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be good this time. Me talking to Santa Claus after I burned down my school. Hold. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm, I'm begging you. Just a single minor prize. I don't need the Beats by Dre. I don't need the, the headphones that the YouTubers are hawking. That break after six hours of use. I need real money. I need tickets. That's right. Play towards the left eye. That's my good eye. Oh! No! <laughs> How do you know about Raycons? Uh, around the new year, there was a thread that was like, give me your YouTuber opinion that has you like this. And it was like a dude giving a middle finger and it got 90,000 likes on Twitter. And then like all the tweets that replied to it also went viral. And I was like, this is good. YouTubers don't get enough like anonymous criticism for no reason. Let's see what people are writing. That was one of the ones that came up most commonly. Oh, we're, we're going for a major prize. Come on. Why do we never have a, a thread that's like, let, give me your opinion about YouTubers that has you like this. And it's like a guy holding a rabbit or something like that, like smiling, like a cute, a cute doggy or something. Give me your opinion about politics that has you like this. And it's like somebody cozied up with the hot chocolate and the, the wool blanket. Fuck you. I'm out of here. I'm playing combo cray. Oh, combo craze. Combo craze! This shit is no joke. This is part of the, the combo craze speed run. You start at Uncle Jerry's. Get to the... The uh, Pirates Cove as fast as you can, and then FC Combo Craze, and that's time. What the hell was that? Can I just say? I'm going to save AGDQ, okay? If AGDQ stands for Awesome Games Done Quick, then SGDQ should be Shitty Games Done Quick. No summer games done quick. What is a summer game anyway? Mario and Sonic at the Rio Olympics? At the Winter DGQ, they can play Metroid. They can play Zeldas. They can play Tetris. They can play the Marios of the world. They can play Baldur's Gate 3. In the summertime, it's Superman 64. Detroit, become human. Disco Elysium, you know, just bad games. Oh, come on. I had to put something at the end just to get the people going. I, I This is unplayable. They have to rework the combo craze machine. The motherboard needs some grease, bro. Get me the fuck out of here. Get me, get me out of here. What am I doing? Are you seeing my ticket to coin ratio? 0.155 tickets per coin? Mega drop. This is from Larry's Arcade, bro. This ain't Larry's Arcade. This is Arcade Castle. Pumpkin pusher. It's a ghost ball and a pumpkin ball. Mega bonus. Pick your treasure. <laughs> oh, man. People do the like, Dude, you got to play pick your treasure. Pick your treasure goes crazy. Okay. Um, I'm going to pick 5,000. is actually worse than a real casino because you can't win money. A 
Okay, honestly though, for everything I said, that one was really close. This time I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be so greedy. I'm gonna go yellow. Shut up, shut up. Oh my God, oh, well, they, dude, it's too, it's, it's scammed, bro. Yo, Daniel, thank you for the raid. We got the hottest new game on Twitch. It's called Pick Your Treasure. There's a little secret. The machine's busted. If you go green, you win every time. Get ready. It spins around. Maybe you've heard of it. They run kind of like a, um, a rip-off version of this game at many casinos in Las Vegas. This shit like the Berenstein Bears. Go green. I'm rich, bro. Please bet on white, you coward. All right. This one's for you. If I lose, you're permabanned from the chat, okay? Nuts on the table. Not even close. Mods. Put that guy in bowling shoes in icy winter weather. Ticket toboggan. What am I looking at here? Mods, flush the toilet when this guy's in the shower. <laughs> that was pretty fun. Ghibli has 9,400 points in Ticket toboggan. <laughs> What the fuck, man? I got- I'm getting 15 per click. <laughs> oh, man. Oh! I'm coming for you. Oh, gee, get me off of this thing, man. Kids these days are screwed, dude. Like, if these... I know there's not many arcades left. If I ever see kids lined up for Ticket Toboggan, I'll know we're cooked. You used to put a quarter in the, into a machine, you could play NBA Jam for, like, ten minutes. Nowadays, a coin goes down a slide, and it gives you a... a Number, the number prints out tickets, and then you take your tickets up to the front and get what? Like a fucking picture of a damn snake. <laughs> Used to get real stuff made of metal, like a tin whistle. Now you get a picture of a fucking snake. Speed drop. Okay, I gotta say though, iceberg bounce seems kind of sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody makes mistakes. Sure, sure, I'll bounce again. Full clear? Full clear? Plus 3,000 bonus points? Holy... No! Don't lag me, bro! Okay, I'm going to the damn moon. 8,000 on that one. 404 tickets. Down a bot. 
Well, I'd have to be stupid. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? Forget stack them up, bro. In this household, we play pile up. Where the hell? Where do I put my credit card? <laughs> That's not, they should always give you a freebie, dude. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful pile. Fantastic tower so far. We go again. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Next stage, please. <laughs> Sick controller, though. I didn't want to play again! I didn't want to play again! Oh, that's a good start. I'm out of this. I will not play again. Popcorn Pete says, eat your cheesy poofs. Top Reddit comment in 2009 be like, Snowball Battle. Wheeler Up. I remember Wheeler Up and Wormhole. Sure, this looks like it's worth $2. I'm insane. Oh, no, wait, that's bad. <laughs> You're supposed to get it in the 10. Okay. My mistake. My mistake. I thought you were supposed to get it in the, in the long boy. But that makes sense. Okay, hold me. Bro, we got to open an arcade. It seems like the, the easiest passive income that's ever existed in Earth's history. This, I just paid $4 for 10 seconds of entertainment. I'm crazy. Eighty tickets. I didn't even. I didn't lose, bro. I should keep ticket to coin ratio point four. Too easy. I don't respect charity games like that. Let's play down a bot. What the hell? They keep sending more. They're lighting up one that's already been knocked over. Hardly seems fair. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I don't need to go again. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm having such a uh, crisis of career, man. I'm down here playing Pumpkin Pusher. I don't even know what I'm looking at. This is like eight games in one. It's like a How It's Made episode here. You gotta crank it. That's how they get you. I have received a dozen ghost balls. These ghost balls have now fallen somewhere. I'm just clicking, man. I gotta. I got like 60 of these to send. Now we got pumpkin balls. It looks like there's some kind of like uh, stack em game coming up on the right. Don't make fun of me, bro. You see how many pumpkin balls I'm getting? 
shit looked like Fortnite. Did you guys see the video of the um, the Dallas Cowboys fan throwing up on the ground in the stadium, and all the Lions fans start doing the gritty around her? No video that's ever been captured in Earth's history has ever looked more like it came from Fortnite. It actually looks like like Unreal Engine 8 Fortnite. Librarian, please pull it up. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure you will find it. 730 tickets owed. It's pumpkin time. <laughs> 910 tickets owed. Bro, I'm in a meeting. It's just okay, just that doesn't have to be right now. Play again? What the hell? I didn't what was pumpkin time? I was expecting something a little bit more. Bombastic. Jerry's Gourmet Sammies. 50 cents to win a gourmet tuna sandwich. You know what to do. What the hell did I do? What do, what do I have to do? You had it? I don't know what I'm doing, bro. You have to land it on the yellow. Oh, okay. I'm screwed, bro. Oh, I want the sandwich. Oh, I think I got this thing figured out. Why don't you just land it on the yellow? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> Why didn't you just buy the sandwich? I still think we're in the money. A tuna sandwich in the modern day is like... Fourteen ninety nine. What is this? <laughs> it's it's rigged, bro. The yellow one is too small. Oh my god. Maybe you gotta take it down the whole staircase. So it loses some momentum on the way. I'm screwed. I'm screwed. This is the one. I know I've told this story before. This is now actually illuminating a lot for me. I used to play... Uh, ESPN NHL hockey on Xbox Live when I was a teenager with a dude who was like, I don't know, he was probably like 26 or 27. And we were both really good. So it was mostly just an engine for conversation. And then he kept telling me like, um, he was like, dude, I got this perfect like scam. I go to Burger King and they have like a machine like this, I guess it was. And he's like, you put in 50 cents and if you land the coins right, you win a free Whopper. And I was like, oh, that's sick. So we kept talking, you know, for like weeks. And then one day he was like, sorry, I didn't log on yesterday. I had to go to the hospital. I had chest pain. And then I was like, what did the doctor tell you? And he was like, he told me to stop eating so many Whoppers. He would go literally after work every day, he would drive to the Burger King and win like two Whoppers for a dollar or something like that. And then just eat that. He was Whopper maxing. It was pissing me off because, like, obviously that guy was like a lot smarter than me. Because <laughs> I can't figure this out, man. <laughs> Maybe you just need a little patience. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
<laughs> Hold. It's crazy that due to woke, you can't have these in your restaurant anymore. They'd be like, oh, it's not like a regulated uh, game. Nowadays, you can only have random number generators that make you guaranteed to lose. There's no arbitrage. That's the secret, bro. You got to fold it over. Oh! <laughs> that one shouldn't even count. There needs to be a countdown or something. Okay, fold it over. Yeah! Fold it. <laughs> fold it. You, it, you can fold, but you can't have it on its edge, or it gets like nuclear physics. <laughs> Maybe fold it the other way. <laughs> okay, send the first couple. Oh, just fold the last one. Okay, this is your fold. How am I supposed to do this when the yellow one is, it doesn't have the extendo of the other ones? You did it before? Yeah, but I wasn't paying attention. Skip the oranges? Oh, hang on, this is... <laughs> It has too much speed. Let's start one lower. <laughs> two lower. Oh, two lower. Oh, maybe you gotta skip the, the, oh, hey, hang on, excuse me, I'm not done. The machine's just warming up. What if you skip the second last one? Maybe the second last one is a trick. And then you... <gasps> <laughs> Put me in, coach. Two in a row where it doesn't count. Fuck this. And they say there's no such thing as a free lunch. Juice Master 5000 XL. Why, why would I pay four fifty for a fresh squeezed lemonade when I could get a, an ice cold pirate punch for $3? Your business model literally doesn't make sense. Four fifty for deep fried dough elephant ears? That's pretty good. That's the same price that it is at the carnival. I've lost confidence in myself as a man. <laughs> what am I doing, man? Mega Tootsie Roll, Bolt Candy, Bolt Candy, Doughy Bears. <laughs> this shit looks fucking gross, man. It looks disgusting. Is your movie still going? You know what? Hang on, wait a tick. Sorry, the mall's so big, sometimes I get lost. Must have just ended.
you know what? Just because I, <laughs> just because I like you. Here you go. The next one's on me, guys. What can I get for you? Another round for everybody. Let's go. Oh, I never saw this guy. Colbert speaks. Aim ramp at Zalbot's mouth. Press red button to drop coin. This is the same as every other game. Wish again? Yeah, sure, I guess. It's insane that people will put money into this. I'm just remembering when I was a kid at the Cataraqui Town Center, they used to have like, I'm, it, I'm sure this wasn't a one of one, okay? There was a wizard in a crystal ball with like a coin slot on it. And um, you would put 25 cents into the wizard ball and ask it a question, and it would be like a magic eight ball. It would be like, the answer is inconclusive. And I was paying like 25 cents a week just to have this thing spit out like a voice line that was completely irrelevant and independent of the question that was asked to begin with. What were we doing with our lives, man? Can you just flip this son of a gun over so I can read what it says? <laughs> flip it over, bro! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, it fell in the damn fountain. And it's still not flipped over. Is there, I can't see what it says on the other side. It got stuck up there, man. It's gone. <laughs> nice job, Ron. Oh, what? I can't sneeze now? You're not going to let me sneeze? Sure, I'll wish again. Here we go. Sick. Sorry, I'll just take the tablet. Your wish is granted. Three. Sick. Money well spent. <laughs> Ready for this? I'm sending this thing to the moon. That was like Olympian level. It, it took 25 seconds to come down. It's gone forever. We used to do this with CDs in high school. I used to do it with pepperoni pizzas at 4625 Arroyo Lane in Albuquerque, New Mexico. How about one of these, just in case the guinea fowl gets an extra hit out of Excuse it? Me, pardon I me? It will, Excuse me? I know the I know the guy who made this. Quite frankly, it will not. Yes! How I thought we had no chance. <laughs> I thought we were screwed from the get-go. Now, you're quite tempting here. Understand it might make more sense to do something like that. I think this is right where we left off on our this last one. This team has no long-term future, so it really has to win right now or build up an absolutely enormous... Huge. Huge. Uh, Best Koala, 2023. Foul already did his job on turn one here. For that, I'm, I'm eternally grateful. We left you abandoned there. Sea Turtle, so sorry to see that, Turtle. And yet here we are now. How often do you actually watch your old streams? Um, 
I'm not it. I'm not Never. <laughs> now, now. Of course. You move up. You get sold. You give trumpets to the game. Yeah, yeah. Bowel, Smart so play. Gets Can I ask them to skip ahead like seven minutes in the video so that I can actually see how this ends? Tier three. Next round, we're going to be on tier fours, right? No, we just got the tier threes. Tier three, tier three. Okay, so the lettuces are pretty high value right now. At least they're giving us something. You guys ever see a... Uh, and I am loving it. <laughs> at I'm the Mountains of Madness. Every minute, Jerry. 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 I love it when hello, he says Jerry. Jerry. Hello, Jerry. Enfield show. I love when he says hello, My hello, Jerry, shows. in his... Uh, I don't have a... <laughs> I love when he says hello, Jerry, in his Jerry voice. You know even though it's supposed to be Newman. My hover shoes, they don't hover. Oh man, this guy is good. Andy's good at the game. That's like the crazy part. Bro, what are you doing? You gotta get some garlic on your guinea fowl. You, it, it, it scales with hurt triggers. You're being a fool here. Look at that, we even had a 10-10 dog about to get spat out. There you go, level two guinea fowl, it's so over. I would also say, I feel like we have to run this and this, and the the order is all scuffed. I don't. What do really you? You don't even have a toy, so you're killing the snapping turtle for no benefit whatsoever. To, to this guy's supposed to have played this game like for like this, three years. Oh God, I almost killed the guinea fowl, and then you'll the the mantis will get the skewer. I don't know how valuable I'd consider that, but it's it's not nothing, I suppose. I think we're going to 10. Weakest slug I've ever Now seen. you have to put this VOD into the coin game. Now you're talking. <laughs> watch myself watching myself in the coin game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot how this works. Never mind, dude. I, I knew what I was... He, this guy knows what he's doing. You could kill a slug. Just think out of it. At least you get something to sell next turn. What are we on? Four wins, turn eight. I mean, this like is like a guaranteed ten piece. Where we're gonna go long term? That's what we want, right? We got to get as many monkeys out there as possible. If we could get like a level two monkey out there, we'd be we'd be feeling pretty solid about our chances. But the guinea fowl is gone. My DoorDash is here. Us, by the way, I knew it was gonna be solid. I didn't expect it to, to stand up to this kind of rigorous assault. Me when I poop in the airplane toilet. <laughs> Call me crazy. I feel like I'd, I'd rather just freeze the blobfish. Mm. Look at and then it's gonna spit. Oh, but you need some space. Otherwise, the slug is gonna, the monkey is gonna get cannibalized by the lack of space, bro. Please, somebody tell him. Which is why? Why did the chicken cross the road? <laughs> stole that from Corey. Classic. Stole it from um, we need something to kill. We're not gonna kill the monkey once it starts spawning. So that means we have to kill something or one of these two units. We'd rather kill one of these two units because they... They're not that good. We'd have to sell them to kill something else anyway. So we need to... Wait, you're going to spawn two things. Oh. Somebody man. told him. <laughs> Finally, <laughs> he realizes. The in the process here. Or are we going to lose the slug? I think we got to take a gamble on that. Mm, it's unfortunate. We'll start unwinding you next turn, okay? Right now, we got it. It's still an okay thing going for us. So we want to make sure we unwind it at the at the right opportunity, not just willy nilly. It's a big camel. It's a big camel. And a big I, I'm not going to sit here and watch us lose. Okay, so that's just not going to happen, guys. Guys, uh, first, which is toilet tracker says this is the best time to go to the bathroom. You're not going to miss anything relevant. Come on, come on. But look at that. even the staff is like mesmerized, bro. Well, I would say that's about enough of the coin game. It's always a, it's always an experience. No, oh no, you're right. I gotta go get some scratch tickets. <laughs> what happened to my damn bike, bro? I left from the the wrong entrance, the wrong exit. 
PBR2 on Islandville Radio. Oh no, I don't know where I'm supposed to be. Uh, it's, it's this one because the jewelry store was on my left when I came in. I remember. Happens to me every time I go to the mall. Me when I'm supposed to take exit 21 out of Shinjuku Station, but I accidentally take exit uh, 22 and get off in the Philippines. Okay, to the gas station. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Slender Man? Use fast travel? Bro, it ain't about the journey, it's about the destination, okay? Where are we going again? The gas station. Pawn shop? Motel? Gas station? Gas? Jerry's Gas and Go? Under construction. Islandville Market. Credit Union. Betty's Boutique. Three years on the Peloton, bro. Woohoo! You guys do that 30 minute Ryan Nyquist ride yet? Located on Main Street. Go and eat something. Okay. It was pointing this way. Okay, chill out, Tommy Versetti. You should have a drink. You look parched. I will say, this cold air has been wreaking havoc on my damn lips, bro. My lips are chapped as hell. But then I'm like, I don't want to buy chapstick. What dead on earth? You just literally killed me. Average uh, American driver when they see a cyclist. Denny's, Lenny's Water Wonderland. Anyway, I didn't want to buy lip balm because apparently lip balm is a scam. Once you use it, you can't stop using it. But today, today I finally, uh, I broke. I bought some mint flavored chapstick. <laughs> you can just use candle wax? Bro, what do you think I live in, like a castle in the Middle Ages? What are you talking about? I'd have to go out and buy a candle first. Is this the gas station? Entrance to the Lazy River. I'm a fucking loser, bro. What am I doing? This shit is disgusting. <laughs> Thoughts on lazy rivers? When we went to Hawaii, our hotel had a lazy river. I didn't realize the meta of how these places work. You're supposed to wake up at like 5.35 in the morning and go out and like pick a deck chair to fall asleep on so that you can actually use it for the rest of the day. And then like the tubes from the, for the lazy river all get used like by 8 a.m. So there's a huge lineup of people like camping the exit of the lazy river, getting ready to like, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? So once you, I, I kind of feel like the experience of being on the lazy river is not that good. 
But once you're on, you can't stop because the, the marginal cost of getting off is too high. Because you can never get back in. It might take you like two hours to get another tube to get back in. Play is work now, huh? That's what I'm trying to say. I just walk through, no tube. Yeah, but then it's like, wouldn't you rather just be in the pool? I get that there's like a little current, but you're mostly just kind of like walking yourself. I guess if you were like a little tanked, it might be fun. <laughs> Look at this body type, man. I'm out of here. Put me on the slide. Now, a water slide is sick. I've got absolutely nothing against a water slide. Although the one we went through, so again, at this Disney hotel, we went on a water slide and it was kind of like obscured. I have trauma associated with slides because when I was three years old, or maybe five, I went to Paramount Canada's Wonderland with my parents and I was too scared to go on any of the rides. So all I did was like hang out in the playgrounds. And then I went on the slide that like was kind of like this, like there was like a, a fake mountain and there were a bunch of different tubes that were, I'm trying to tell a story here, okay? There are a bunch of different tubes, but it like looked fun. And I mean, a slide is like, a, it's just physics, right? It's not like you're, you're in too much danger. So I was like, oh, mom, I'm just going to go on this slide. I'll be back in a second, right? Um, and then I got up and there were like a hundred, in my head at least, there were a hundred different tubes going in 360 degrees around me. And I was like, uh, uh, uh. So I just picked the one that I thought would take me back to my mom. And I went down the slide and I got out and I looked and I, I like recognized nothing. And I was like, mom, mom. And I just started like running around the, the slide. And then it was probably like, 20 seconds when my parents found me, but it felt like it was like 30 minutes, right? So I think that's like baked into the, the trauma a little bit in my brain. So we went on a water slide at the hotel. It, it kind of looked like this, except a taller mountain and like no curves, but it didn't look like it was a big water slide, right? So it's me, my wife and my daughter, who was at that point, like not even three years old yet. Uh, and I was like, I'm, I think this slide might be a little intense for our kid. And Kate was like, no, don't worry about it. She'll be fine. It's a slide. It's physics. But you go down first. So I went down first. It slunks you into a cave. And I was like, it was pitch black for like 10 seconds. And I was like, our kid is going to fucking freak out, dude. Uh, so I got spit out like into the retrieval area and then I just sat there like waiting for my kid to come down and it took way longer than I thought it would take. I was like, I'm gonna have to climb up the damn tube. But then eventually I turned my ear to the tunnel and I heard like a, like almost like mini me from Austin Powers. I heard like a, oh, and then just shunk, she just shot out the bottom and I grabbed her. And I was like, was that fun? And she was like, yeah. And then I was like, do you want to go again? And she was like, no, no. <laughs> what is this, danger high voltage? Oh, it's not for me. How do I get up to the, oh, there's the slide right there. Holy cow, bro. Work on your cardio a little bit. They made the... You had one job. They made the staircase too steep for you to be able to walk up it. You have to hit it with a little jump. Oh! Okay, we made it. That's how it feels IRL. I'm not gonna say skill difference, I'm just saying. Holy, here we go.
I'm such a fucking loser, dude. <laughs> oh, this shit makes me feel like a piece of crap. Going down a virtual water slide by myself. Whee! Whoa! Wow! Woo! Boop! <laughs> I guess we should try the blue one now. Holy cow. Imagine Ninja with a low taper fade. Imagine Ninja with a low taper fade. Do you want to do it again? What else are we going to do? We're already at the water park, bro. It's too intense for a water park, bro. They should have an elevator for the water slide. Excuse me? Where the hell did you come from? Give me the yellow one this time. some clearance if you weigh more than me you're gonna accelerate and crash into me you're not supposed to go until the light at the top turns green holy cow we're zooming well not really that's how like a water slide always goes you're they actually died get up you sack of shit I don't care if you're neuron divergent, I need you to go to war. Every water slide is like, whoa, I'm accelerating, I'm accelerating, I wonder how fast it'll go, and it's like, about that fast. You guys don't know, but that is like a, at least a 7 out of 10 George C. Scott as Patton impression. Okay, fine. I'll do the scratch tickets. You got to tell me where the gas station is. Isn't there a map? Granddad didn't have maps. Ergo, I'm not using maps. But he did? Be that as it may. Did you really defend the robot and I robot yesterday? DL Guiga, he did not murder him. Easy there, initial D. But he did murder him? Okay, okay, listen. Wikipedia, iRobot, not the corporation. Spoilers, okay? In the year 2035, humanoid robots serve humanity, which is protected by the three laws of robotics. Del Spooner, a homicide detective, has come to hate and distrust robots after a robot rescued him from a car crash while allowing a 12-year-old girl to drown based purely on cold logic and odds of survival. When Dr. Alfred Lanning... Falls to his death from his office window. A message he left behind requests Spooner be assigned to the case. The police declare the death a suicide, but Spooner is skeptical. Yeah, 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 yeah. One second. Blah, blah, blah. While in custody, Spooner interrogates the robots, who speaks about dreams and emotions and angrily denies committing the murder. I did not murder him. He later calls himself Sonny, which Spooner finds amusing. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> uh, a breadcrumb trail left by Sonny leads him to an area in Sonny's drawing, a dry lake bed now used as a storage area for decommissioned robots. Something, something. He discovers NS5 robots destroying the older models. Massive swarms of robots. Hang on, it gets good. Then flood the city streets. 
Spooner, Calvin, and Sonny fight the robots inside Vicky's core. Spooner manages to destroy her by injecting her with the nanites that Sonny retrieved. For See, he didn't do anything, bro. Spooner finally gets Sonny to confess that he killed Lanning at Lanning's direction, pointing out that Sonny as a machine cannot legally commit murder. Sonny, now seeking a new, pur a new purpose, goes to Lake Michigan. What now, bald man? What are you talking about? Robots can't commit murder. They literally wrote that. So how could Sonny have murdered him? At worst, there's like a Kevorkian type situation. Where's the gas station? Because it's not considered murder? That's what I'm saying. He did not murder him. He did not. Okay, you know what? It's literally straight ahead. So the sign is, is literally just a lie. It's pointing to the right but the gas station is to the left. Insane marketing. It was literally right here. <laughs> anyway, don't spoil it for me. I'm gonna watch it like next week. What a coincidence. We have exactly $25 left. Match three to win. Trunk full, 50 bucks. Trunk full, 50 bucks. Come on, a fish or a... Hang on, I know a place. Guys will say I know a place and then take you to Larry's Arcade. Fifteen minutes and we'll play Escape Simulator. We can hold out till then. He'll do anything but play backshot roulette. I was thinking about playing it, but then people, like, they said it's only eight minutes long. Happy what the hell? <laughs> I was if I wasn't depressed enough there. I forgot it's my birthday. Come on, don't look at me. I gotta use the money machine. This shit is so demoralizing, man. I'd rather just get like a job with some dignity. Please, please, just let me get to 50 bucks. Oh, I gotta go through one more time. I gotta go through one more time. I don't have enough for two tickets. Look at all these people having fun. I'm in the throes of my addiction. Does anyone else's workplace have one of those privacy boxes you can get in and have some private time? Uh, it's called the walk-in. <laughs> oh, man. Am I right? 
No, I've never worked in a restaurant environment. We work chatter has been spotted. Brother, I need I need one more. I need one more dollar. I'm not gonna, uh, you know what? Maybe we can get to 125. <clears throat> I have been in a WeWork once before though. I had to pick up a document and it was like, I, I've never felt like more out of touch than when I went inside of the WeWork and I was like, I, I feel like an old man. Like I walked into the room and there were a bunch of like cool people around playing foosball. There was like a kombucha bar and stuff. And there was nothing that I could interact with except an iPad. So I like walked over to the iPad and it was like, type your name. And I was like, what am I doing here? And I was like, duh, 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 duh. and then it was like, who are you here to see? And I pressed the button. And then like 10 minutes later, somebody walked over and was like, who are you here to see? And I was like, this guy on the iPad. And they're like, oh, okay. I don't know if they have like a, a person at the front desk or something, or if it's all egalitarian, or if I'm supposed to just know where I'm supposed to go. I felt very out of touch when I was in the WeWork. I'm used to a business where there's like a big desk at the front and you go, you know, like I'm here to see Bill and they go, oh, of course, you must be Ryan, take a seat. Would you like some water? And I'm like, no, then I'm just gonna have to piss during the meeting. All right, we're getting rich. What do you mean insert card? <laughs> Scammed? Okay, I want this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. We're so close to a trunk full, bro. Stop. Oh, 625 bucks, three boats. We're one fish away from getting $100. We're one one away from getting nothing. Yes. Get two x This one. This one, this one, this one. The hell? I won a smaller loss. Gambling is literally so stupid. Like, I know that you know it. <laughs> Even if you do it. No, no, not like this. But like, look at, I mean, this is, oh, fuck. One second. We're close. You know what? These machines are shameless. Problem is we gotta intersperse a hot fire. Yes! If they ever show me my wallet balance when I put my credit card into the jelly bean machine, just end it right there, brother. <laughs> There's no reason the jelly bean company needs to know my net worth. say Jari's gas and go under new management 
Take all those pesky kids outside. Quit messing with my pumps. <laughs> you want to go top to bottom, brother. Okay, okay. I trust you. If you say you got a strat. Thanks for nothing. How about spiral strat? We'll give it a chance. Spiral strat. One boat. Scammed. Spiral out, not in. Oh, my mistake. What the hell have I done? <laughs> Just five more minutes. I only need 10 seconds to win, to win big. I'm going to make a uh, happy face strand. <laughs> uh, it's a mathematically optimal loss. Four corners. Very good idea. Very good idea. Start four corners. Oh! Okay. Hold. D4. D4. You screwed me. Center two. You fucking blow at gambling, bro. You got it twisted. That was our shot. I'm down to my last 651. I'm going to hell. Trying <laughs> to drive my bike into the river. This was the coin game? No, oh, man. I don't know what to say. I, I learned a lot about myself, and I don't really like what I, what's come to light. <laughs>